Hello, welcome to Avio's Journey and Avio's Journey Podcast. My name is Anthony. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all of the crazy things that this guy, that's me, seems to step on. It is Thursday, the 16th of May. I was looking at my my calendar. We're zooming by, aren't we? Uh, I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, just some quick things, housekeeping things. Don't forget, we've got an incredible special coming up next week, starting Monday. If you've been waiting or have been waiting for like a special to come up to try out a VO's Journey Lead Academy, um, now is the time to give it a shot. We're going to have an incredible discount to get, you know, to try us out for the first month. Um, and it's only going to be, uh, you're going to have to wait and find out, but it's going to be amazing. So come and check that out, of course, at avosjourney.com. Um, also really, some really exciting things too. You might not know, you know, about the Academy we have, uh, you know, of course we have our live classes and everything, but you know, we have a, um, a leveling process, an assessment, uh, process, and we are adding a certification for your sound and the quality of your sound. So you can get certified and, and you'll have a badge for that. And, and we're going to be growing that as a community. And I, I believe, um, I, I can't tell you too much, but definitely we'll be looking into doing a lot more for the overall voiceover community with this certification and stuff and and bringing together uh, the best practices that that you need to you know be a professional voice actor um, so we're really excited about uh, offering that and so forth so there'll be there'll be more there and of course you know we have all our, our incredible community which is amazing uh, and super active and super helpful along with all our courses and everything and and uh, our archives so it's really a wonderful thing so make sure you you check that out um, you know starting next Monday uh, for our special that's going on to give us a shot all right, so um, and and also moving into Academy Voices, really excited. You know, the whole point of that platform—it's an online casting platform. Again, if you if you don't know what Academy Voices is, and you know, we this is where we you know we're running a a online casting platform as voice actors, right? I mean, that's the whole point to be run by voice actors. We're all human all the time, um, and you know, together we're always greater working together than we are individually. And I really believe that. And even if we lose a job to each other here and there, it's still worth it to work together as a team because as a team, we'll grow way more together than we could by ourselves. So really excited. Check out academyvoices.com. You know, if you happen to be on the, in this video, you know, watching this video and you're looking for a voiceover, we have just such incredible talent there. Uh, unbelievable talent and um, of all sorts, uh, and and also, you know, we from, you know, commercials, socials to meditation to audiobooks to ads to um, dubbing to video game. My goodness, the talent we have for uh, characters and so forth it's it's unbelievable. So check it out there, and we're still we're growing. I mean, I think we have eighty three on our roster now, and we have hunt like. I think four or 500 people waiting <laughs> to join. So, you know, we're just, it, it takes time, right? Because we vet every single voice actor and we work with them. So it's really cool. So check that out, academyvoices.com. Um, and, uh, you know, we'd love to chat with you. So anyways, okay. So I wanted to <laughs> talk about those things. Uh, and moving today, you know, um, today's theme and, and, and topic, right, is that perfection is not attainable. You know, we've been going through, uh, the week, right? We talked about, um, you know, success and being too busy to notice it. You know, we've talked about, you know, taking actions, making those decisions to move forward. You know, that really pushes you, um, you know, that, that first step is usually the hardest, you know, we've talked about success is stumbling forward. Right. Um, uh, but today, you know, we're talking about how, you know, perfection is not attainable. We talked about this in this, the, this morning's video. Um, but if we chase perfection, right, we can catch excellence. And I, I think the, the point here is, is that, you know, we are always in our voiceover business trying to be perfect, 
right? We we do an audition. We want it to be perfect. We put it, we do a job. We want it to be perfect. We try to build our website. We want it to be perfect. We try to put together a demo. We want it to be perfect. We try to put together our studio. We want it to be perfect. Everything, we're always trying to make everything perfect. And a lot of times, because we're trying to make those things perfect, we don't actually get anywhere. <laughs> Meaning, like, you know, we 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 stop. Right. We we stop, we stop, we stop. And then we're like, well, this doesn't work. And we just give up and we stop chasing that perfection. OK. Uh, and I, I think. Because of that, we end up not even catching excellence. It's funny because as you'll know, as you'll learn as a voice actor uh, and I guess life in general, but especially as a voice actor. Right. It's like voice acting is a series of contradictions. <laughs> you know, uh, we want you to be upbeat, but serious, right? We want you to be um, authoritative, but relatable. <laughs> we want you, like, every, you know, it's like everything that we do as voice actor, a lot of times is, is contradicts itself, okay? Um, and I think that in this one, in this sense too, it's kind of similar, right? You know, we talk about, and I've talked a lot about, right? You know, you're, no one will ever re, be perfect. But the idea is, is that we have the courage enough to chase perfection, to chase the idea that we're going to be as good as we can be. And I think that's, that's in itself the message to take away here, right? Is that we are trying to be as good as we can be. We're trying to do as much as we can do, but understand Right, that you're never going to be perfect. There isn't like a. It'd be funny if there's like a paddle that pops up and be like, "Boop, you've hit perfection." <laughs> that would be funny, right? Well, this is never going to happen. At least, I mean, although it'd be, you know, we got to make one of those. I had to make like a little button that pops up randomly, you know, like a little sign. Boop, you've hit perfection for the day. Yes, I've hit perfection for the day. I can now go on and be good enough uh, for the rest of my life. I think <laughs> we don't have that. And so, you know, you just, it never just happens where you're like, it's perfect. It's perfect. Right. It doesn't. But by trying to be the best that you can be, you can be excellent and you can be the you know, best as you are at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So I think if we're looking at, you know, from again, the standpoint of our business, right? What is chasing? you know, perfection for us. You know what I mean? What is chasing perfection? Well, you could say that, well, it's it's reaching our goals would be perfect. Okay, reaching our goals would be perfect. So let's say your goal is you want to make, you know, $10,000 a month. Okay, that's wonderful. And if you made that, that'd be perfect. What if you make $9,000 a month? Oh, well, it's not perfect. You didn't make $10,000 a month. Like, what the hell? You made $9,000? Holy crap. That's excellent. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay? Or, you know, you could take it to the extreme. You made $9,999. <laughs> you, you didn't get exactly what you wanted, but doggone, you got really close, and that was amazing, and that is awesome, and it's excellent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to hit that perfect, that perfect or that perfection to do an, an excellent job. And because of that, we still want to go for that perfect scenario. So so I think this is if if I can just kind of boil you know like push it further with this, right? I think especially yesterday in our show yesterday, you know, we kind of talked about tricking your mind. Uh and I, I'm I'm always because my mind is always my biggest enemy. <laughs> It's <laughs> my biggest ally, my biggest thing. Or let me rephrase my feelings. So my feelings, right, or the the way I feel about something sometimes can be uh, uh, my biggest enemy because my feelings b uh, betray me a lot. Meaning, like the way I feel something is happening. It's my dog. The way I feel something is happening <laughs> isn't necessarily the way it is really happening, right? It's not actually what is happening. But I feel that way, and my feelings, as you know, right? If you haven't learned by now, you will. Um, but mo most of you know our emotional intelligence. Okay, it, it dwarfs our logical side of our brain. 
right? When emotions take over, and I know that's that that's you know from innate and built into us from the caveman days, right? To where our emotions, our feelings drive us. But the reality is, is when your emotions come into play, we lose all ability to be logical about a situation. And a lot of times those emotions are wrong. Like the feelings you get, and I'm not saying it's wrong to have feelings. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Uh, or the way you're feeling is wrong. It's not It's not binary like that. What I'm saying is, though, is a lot of times, and that, the, using myself as an example, um, I have looked at a month right? And the numbers and the things that I've accomplished in that month. And the way I felt was that I did not succeed, right? The way I wanted to. But then when I looked at the numbers, the numbers showed absolutely a different scenario. The numbers showed that I did succeed, but yet I had these feelings that I did not succeed. Okay. And, and, and again, then that's why I was trying to say, you know, those feelings, they, they can really, they can really betray you. All right. And so so when you are setting these perfect goals, right, the perfect scenario, OK, a lot of that has to do with how you feel, right, of what's perfect and what's not perfect and not the logical sense of what the attainment is going to be. Like, is it did you actually get to that goal? Did that did you reach a great height? You know what I'm saying? You know, and, the, and, and with this quote today, right, from Vince Lombardi, right? But I think, and I can't remember what, but there's similar quotes out there, right? Like the quote, uh, the, the quote about, you know, you're shooting for the moon, you you know, but you're not going to reach the moon, but you'll reach the stars, right? You know, like like the whole idea, right, is that you, again, are never going to reach the goal because and and there's another philosophical insight for the day right is if you do reach your goal right what are you going to do then you got to set another goal <laughs> because once you reach it you got to set it so was that perfection was that excellence okay was it something more than that because if you ever reached your end goal game over it's time to pack it up and go what's the point anymore do you know what I'm saying? What's the point? We we talked uh, earlier this week too about conflict, dealing with conflict and how conflict is what drives us forward. Without conflict, there's no uh push. There's no moving to the next level. Okay? Even though conflict and that struggle is very uncomfortable, okay? And and it, it's frustrating, scary. We all know that. But again, those are feelings again, right? So if you set and you need to, right? You need to have that next level goal. I want to accomplish this, okay? And that's the idea of today. You've got to set that perfect goal. You've got to chase it. But the reality is, is you're never going to catch it. But darn, you can get close and you can catch excellence. And then it's worth it. It's worth it. Because remember, if you do catch it, there's on to the next goal. I'll never forget when I went. Uh, I remember. I remember this like it was. I still remember this like it was yesterday. Uh, when I was, um, you know, starting out voiceover the first couple of years, and then I finally was able to go full time. Up until that point, right? I had everything in every fiber of my being, every action I took, everything that happened revolved around me going full time as voice actor, being able to leave my job, replace my income, et cetera, et cetera. Everything I had done. And I, I remember sitting uh, in my office. It was in my other house, my other house, and sitting in 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 my um, editing station, right uh, outside my booth, and uh, finally being full time. And I remember thinking to myself, "Well, crap! Now what? I literally really think I I reached that goal. Well, now what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Now what do I do?" OK, and I realized at that mo at that point, right, that it wasn't that was not the end goal. That was not perfection. I had reached some form of excellence. Right. But there was another goal. There was another there was something more. There was something uh, further that I needed, you know, that I needed to go. So we're always going to be chasing it. And, and I think it's a necessity. I think it's a necessity that you're always chasing something. It's a necessity. So I think we're leading to I'm, I'm le leading to something even more here beyond just this quote, right? And it's the necessity 
to push yourself to another level, right? To keep chasing something, to keep working yourself, all right? Not to take a break, not to take time off. And I don't mean like, you know, take a vacation. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm saying you've got to continue always pushing yourself to the next level. You should always be working on something. You should always be continuing the process, continuing to grow, continuing to chase perfection, right? Because again, going back to what I said at the beginning, if you stop or if you've reached what you have wanted to accomplish, what is the point of us being on this earth anymore? What is the point? Now, I'm convinced a lot of people, you know, towards the end of their lives um, have there's they had their they're in more control of the decision of whether they keep going or not than they think they are. Right. Meaning that, you know, there's something to live for. There's not something to live for. We all know this, um, whether we can quantify it or not. um scientifically yet i understand that but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to have experiences with people in the sea with your own eyes that people have something to live for and people who don't you know and i i I just think that what we're talking about today no matter what age you are is the most important thing right you have to have something to fight for you've got to be striving for that perfect scenario and you keep striving for it. You keep striving for it. And you've got to keep setting that goal. All right. Well, I, <laughs> you, know, is it, you know me and my philosophies and my thoughts. Uh, I have learned, if nothing else, you all, that this is such a mental game. My gosh, it's a mental game. And it's a, I mean, it's, and, and I, it's funny. I, I love my feelings. <laughs> you know, we, we don't want to live life without feelings. I think they make life amazing. At the same time, I wish, probably not, because somebody would take it, I would take it to the extreme, because that's who I am, right? But, you know, it'd be nice sometimes to turn them down a little bit, <laughs> you know, just to be like, you know, let's just logically take the steps we know we need to take, let's go through it, you don't need to worry about this, you don't need to overthink that, we just need to, you know, just need to do this, do X, Y, Z, do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Just, just do it, just do it, just do it, move forward, we will, you know, we'll keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. You know, I think we what we we did chat about that later on about the 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 actions, you know, the the importance of moving, right? The importance of moving. If you notice everything here, especially this week, we've talked a lot about movement, right? Whether it's stumbling, forward, chasing, um, you know, decision making, right? Taking that first step. Everything is about moving. And that's that's a theme, right? That's a theme that we have. Everything's about moving forward. You have to move. You've got to do. You got to take action. You got to chase. You got to strive. You got to step. Even if it's one little step at a time, you got to keep going. Everything is about going. It's about moving. Um that's a good that's a good realization. See, there you go. Look at that. We talk long enough, we realize some good stuff. All right, thank you guys for listening again to uh me ramble on. Um hopefully, you know, it's 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 motivating you to to take a step to move forward right to keep to keep chasing that perfection all right um and and when you reach excellence chase some more right add some more perfection to the goals okay keep going keep going um all right well my dog's telling me it's time to go that's like my dog alarm right oh the little sign right You've reached perfection for the day. We've got to make one of those. I swear, <laughs> it's gonna pop up. It's gonna be a little notification on your on your phone. You've reached perfection for the day, Anthony. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right, you guys. You have a wonderful. That's a, I'm going crazy. You have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Make sure again you remember that we're having our uh, um, sale starting next Monday for Vio's Journey Lead Academy and our courses. So make sure you check that out. Have a good Thursday, everybody. Peace.